sorry, headmaster. I'm just really struggling with my class. I can't get them to question what they hear. They just seem to believe everything, no matter how unreliable the source is. <laughs> Last week, I had to explain to them about cows. Tommy had c convinced the group that black and white cows made plain milk, brown cows made chocolate milk, and reddish cows made strawberry milk. I couldn't believe it. They actually believed him. I'm fed up trying to follow the policies and the curriculum that come out. I don't think the students can think anymore. It seems to have removed their capacity to reason and question and think critically. Hmm. I know how you feel. I think we all find this a challenge. Is there something you would like to try to see if you can improve the situation? Oh. Well, I have noticed they seem to think more when they're in a group because they have different kind of perspectives and they talk about what they all think. Perhaps this would be a way to get them to try and think and question what they've heard. I suppose I could try to put something together based on the curriculum. Hmm. I'll see what happens. Oh, you're suggesting the R word? Uh, I guess so. So what type of research will it be? Action research? Action? You mean like acting? No. CPD from last year. Oh yeah, that nice man. He talked about doing research in the classroom. He made it sound very practical. Looking at a real problem, trying to improve things. He said it can help teachers to reflect on their practice too. And become better teachers. But I can't remember that much about it. Except here. Do you remember I'm talking about action research spiral? Come over here, let me show you what it's about. 